What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Sean, aka Sean Steiger, back again with another video on the channel. If I look sweaty in today's video, it's not because I'm playing Weekend League, but for those of you guys who are, you might need one of these. Because let me tell you, it is sweaty out there, man. I'm talking La Croquetas, El Tornado Crosses, One Death, Drop Back, Park the Bus Tactics, the whole nine. So, for those of you guys who actually are playing Weekend League, may the odds be ever in your favor. I have yet to start my matches yet, but we will be starting those later on tonight after I finish recording and editing this video. But uh, I'm sorry because I just helped my sister move a whole bunch of furniture upstairs and downstairs. I ruined a good pair of shoes in the process. But I've had them for an entire decade now, so it's probably time to move on. But anyway, let's get right into today's video. Make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe if you have not already. And we're going to get right into this thing. Now, of course, the purpose of today's video is the ultimate team of the season. This is the best of the best cards back in packs. Or so they say. I mean, they say it's the best of the best. Is it really, though? We're going to take a look at the team right now. Switch on over to my PC. We're going to take a look at the so-called ultimate team of the season. Now, of course, you got the big boys. You got Ronaldo. You got Messi. You got Marco Royce. Kylian Mbappe. We like that stuff. But where is Neymar? Can somebody tell me where is Neymar in this team? Where is he? I don't know where he is. Like, how is Neymar not in the ultimate team of the season? I mean, I like Havertz. Bernardo Silva's questionable. I thought Raja Nine Gola should have been there instead. He's a much more in-demand midfielder than Bernardo Silva. Koulibaly's fine. Van Dijk is fine. Oblak is good. Kimmich is a questionable one, too. I don't like Kimmich in the team, either. I thought Jao Cancelo or Kenny Lala should have made that position instead. Looking at the bench, we got Suarez who's fine, even though I think Antoine Griezmann should have made that position personally. I like Sancho, Benzema's a little questionable again. I don't like carrying Benzema in the team, I think Ben Yedder should have been there instead. If they really needed another La Liga representative, or if they wanted a striker, they should have put in someone like Lewandowski, he's a much better card, and I think more in demand. Quake Lorella's fine, Raheem Sterling's fine, Allison's good, Chiellini, he's okay. I would have preferred having Edder Militao's card in there. I think he's a lot more in demand, but they're gonna stick to the big leagues for these things, so I guess that's okay as well. Robertson's good, and Pablo Sarabia has no business being in this team whatsoever. Like, what are these cards, EA? This is not an ultimate team of the season, not without Neymar, not without Nine Gola and a lot of those heavy hitters. They're just missing so many big players from this team. And I think they designed like this because they know they're about to do an ultimate team of the season SBC guarantee. They know they're about to put out a whole bunch of players in the market with elite rewards and red player picks next week and stuff. So I think they try to put some fodder players in there so everybody that Ma's not packing Ronaldo and Mbappe and Messi and stuff. They had to put some kind of fodder players in there. So I get that. But, but I feel like it's unfortunate because everybody's already been packing the goalkeepers as it is. So why make the packs even worse? by putting guys like Kimmich in there and guys like Bernardo Silva. Like, we don't want these cars yet. We want Neymar. We want Nine Golden. We want Eder Militalia. We want the big players like that. These guys have no business being in the team, but enough rambling on for now. Let's take a look at the rest of the world team this season. This is the smaller league that's also in packs right now. Not too much I'm really concerned about in this team. Most of it's SPC fodder. I do like Verena here. He's a really good left back. He's right footed, but he's a four star, four star fullback. And I'm going to try him out. I had his informant that just sold for 40,000 coins, so I can actually make profit buying his team of the season card, which is an upgrade off his informant, which is crazy. But we're definitely going to check that card out. Carlos Vela. Oh my goodness. What has EA done with this card, man? Look at that. That is beautiful. He's probably my favorite right winger on the game that I've used this year. I know he's got a two-star weak foot, but those left-footed finesse curling shots are OP. They go in against anybody. I don't care who they have in net. No one's going to stop that left-footed finesse shot from outside the box from Carlos Vela. So we're definitely going to try this card out. We're going to have a review for this guy up on the channel sometime within the next week. So stay tuned for that if you guys are interested in that one. That beer looks all right, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this squad. So I'm not really excited about anyone else in the squad. We're probably going to pack some of these guys. I got a whole bunch of packs to get into, which we're going to take a look at next. Switching back over to the PlayStation, let's get right into our packs. Now we got our weekend league rewards as well as our rivals rewards, and I got a couple packs from market matchups. I didn't actually complete them because I had no goals in my club, so I'm going to have to take the goals I get from these packs I open up today and put them in the last two SBCs of the market matchups and hopefully get the rewards from that. Let's start off here. We got some small rare something players packs. Small Prime, La Liga, we're going with the La Liga uh, Premium Players Pack first. Hopefully get Messi out of this thing, it'd be cool if we could. Highly doubt that, yeah, it's not going to be a walkout, so. We're not going to get Messi, not going to get a walkout in this one either. Not even a board. Just get some Chilean players, or we got a Chilean player, which is great, because I need that for the SBC. Alright, what we got next here, Rare Gold Pack. Let's do the Small Prime Election Players Pack next. Well, we need walkouts, EA. It's not going to be a walkout. 
boards? Not even a board either. Oh man. We're over two so far. We got a lot more packs to get into though. How am I already getting duplicates, man? What is this? Uh, let's see. Rare Electrum Players Pack. We'll go with the rare gold pack. This one has a mix of players and consumables. So I think it's the next worst one on the list. No walkout again. Can we get a board this time? 0 for 3 on the boards today, man. Goodness. EA, where is the pack look today? Jardel got two squad fitnesses. We will be selling these later. We're going to take a look at the rare election players pack next. Six gold rare players in them. Can we get a walkout? Cannot get a walkout. Can we at least get boards? Oh my good. 0 for 4 today, man. What is with the pack look? Pedro. Yeah, none of these players are really selling for anything at all. Get our second rare election players pack. Come on, yeah, we need something, man. Oh my goodness, man. what is with the pack look? At least we got an in for the sign. It's great. Argentina center mid. I don't know who that is. Cuevas, Cuevas. I think sells for like 19k, so it, it, that's pretty good, I guess. At least he was selling for 19k yesterday. His price might have gone down now that everyone's finally opening their packs, but I'm sure he can fetch at least 16,000 coins still if he's tradable. He is untradeable, so that's great. We're going to use him in an SBC. We've got an inform, not bad. Let's take a look at our small rare gold players pack next. We need a walkout, man. Where are the walkouts? We will not get one this time. If we got boards, though. Brazil, center mid. Allen, we'll take that. 84 rated, that's good. Definitely need some high rated cards for these SBCs. I don't know what E is going to drop this week. They've already dropped a Red Marez uh, flashback card, which I have no interest in whatsoever. I don't have a Premier League team. I think they're going to drop some crazy stuff this week. So make sure you guys have high rated players if you're closing. Be prepared for that. If you try to wait until after the big SBC comes out, it's going to be too late. So now we're down to rare mega packs. We got seven of these. So let's get into these things. Actually, we got a rare players pack here. Not a walkout from this one either. 12 gold rare players. Not a walkout. Come on, man. A Cherby. That's going to be a Cherby. 83 rated. Like, I'm not really expecting blues, but come on, at least give me like a an 86 rated walkout, you know, not in form. I'll, I would take that. I need some cards for SBCs and stuff. Start off with the rare mega packs now. We got six of these bad boys to open up. Can we get a walkout from the first one? No, we cannot. We are like 0 for, what, 7 now? 6? I lost count. Is that going to be Allen again? Untradeable again? Oh my goodness. Nacho Fernandez and Horn too, which is great, but we have a double untradeable Allen I can't do anything with right now. I thought he was double untradeable. He is not double untradeable. We're going to keep the one we have. Get them not to discard that one. Second rare mega pack of the day. Still no walkouts, man. Got boards though. French goalkeeper Mandanda. It's going to be Rufi. All right, we'll take that. And the 84 rated. Where was Di Maria last week, man? Come on, man. The trolling is real. Like, you can't give me Di Maria last week, but now he's not in the team of the season. Now you can give me Di Maria. Come on, yeah, we need the walkout thing. We need the blue. Get something big. No walkouts. No boards. We're going to skip that because it's not even worth our time. It's not even going to be at least an 83 rated player. But come on. Can't give me an 83. Tyson, Demir Bay, Camaro. I really wish I would have just taken the coins this week because these packs are absolutely awful. Finally get a walkout. Come on, yeah, give me a blue. Show me the blue. Oh, it's a 9-4, man. Belgium. Alderweireld. Bertongan, which one? Bertongan, we'll take 87. I mean, we got a walkout finally, but it's just not one of the big ones, man. These guys don't sell for that much. It's untradeable. The last two rare mega packs of the day. Can we keep the walkout streak going? Nope. Not Today. Not today, man. Packs are horrendous today. No boards either. Final red mega pack of the day. Can we end on a high note? Oh my goodness, man. This give me a board. I don't get a board either. I think on Thursday I'm gonna take the packs for one more time because ultimate team of the season will still be in packs. But after that, I think I'm just gonna take the coins, man. These packs are garbage. I got one walkout from all of this. I don't want to sound spoiled or nothing, but that's horrible, man. I do have a couple more packs to go, but I need to go ahead and finish my marquee matchups. So I'm gonna go do that and I'll be right back. All right, marquee matchups are complete. This is what I got left here. Premium gold pack, rare election players pack, and the prime, I think. No walk, I'm gonna skip it. 
Let's go with the Rare Election Players pack next. We gotta walk out this time. There we go. Blue. Oh, not in form again. Madich. Yeah, that's gonna be Madich. A6 rated. I'm gonna skip the animation. What else we got in this thing? Fred. Wiley. Alright. Got two walkouts today, both of them from the Premier League. No blues yet, though. Can we change it with this one? Not gonna be a walkout. Not gonna be a blue. Not gonna be a board either, but that's all good. So we got two walkouts today. And we got more stuff coming on Sunday with our squad battles rewards. Hopefully, get some good stuff from that. But I think the real thing's gonna be on Thursday. We're gonna get some guaranteed ultimate team of the season red picks. I'm hoping I don't get the goalkeepers, man. Just to give me anybody but Allison or O Black. I'm pretty much good for that. No, my pack of luck, I'll probably get like Kimmich or Chiellini. I'm not gonna get one of the big boys, but you never know. I mean, I guess you gotta stay hopeful for him, but I always kind of keep my expectations down when it comes to these kind of pack openings because EA is just very stingy when it comes to getting the good cards. But it's all good though. You take what you can get. And this week, unfortunately, is not gonna be a whole lot. But thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Helps the channel grow. Subscribe if you guys have not already. Put out pack openings player reviews, trading tips, all kinds of great stuff so you don't want to miss out. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned and I will see you next time.